We're doing uh, the first recording of the new uh, JVC, and we're outside on May 29th, and this is our house. We have some uh, pretty neat things, by far the biggest tree in the neighborhood, because <laughs> I take a lot of care with it, and Kaylin helps. This is our uh, Catawba crepe myrtle. And it's just beginning to get uh, some purple blossoms. I hadn't actually seen those till today. And then uh, this is our uh, Texas red bud. It's technically an Oklahoma red bud. It's in its second year, and it's really growing this year. This is an iceberg rose. What was neat about the iceberg rose is. Uh, Got it just a couple of months after I was married to Kaylin when I worked at Home Depot. Uh, it's been in that container its entire life, <laughs> or since I bought it from uh, Home Depot. And when we moved, I kind of just left it on its own and found it really months later without any care. And it was doing great and it's beautiful. This is, we call it our mutant knockout rose. Um, it's humongous, even though we uh, prune it back each each year. Now this is what I call an English garden. Uh, just a lot of things uh, right on top of each other. Mixture of annuals and perennials, although mostly perennials. We'll go in and see some of them. This is called uh, Griggs Mistflower, the light blue. There we go. It's supposed to be uh, butterfly friendly. I haven't seen a lot of butterflies. In back of it is something called a shrimp plant. I guess the flowers are supposed to be like shrimp. And uh, we have Mexican feather grass. It's, it's really quite beautiful. Uh, and then behind it, uh, you'll see this a lot in uh, Texas landscapes. It's called a Salvia gregoriae and uh, looks beautiful and then uh, this is one of our uh, some more that's actually a different one. Oh, and then these are our stalwart uh, dwarf um, Buford hollies they're evergreen and they're always beautiful and they tend to do well with almost no care this is an annual salvia and it's got a lot of competition now over here is interesting I thought it might be flocks that I uh, planted last year, but I think it's just a weed and I'll get to that. Here is something uh, really pretty. It's hard to find uh, deep rich purples um, as opposed to like lavender or pinks. This is actually a deep rich purple and it's called a Min Midnight Blues um, butterfly plant, butterfly bush, a bedelia. This is um, Lantana. You also find that in awesome landscapes all the time. We originally had yellow. We bought this orange-yellow one. Um, this is a type of salvia. It goes down to basically nothing during the uh, uh, winter months and then comes back stronger than ever. And it's actually uh, uh, sent out some... Uh, there we go, this one. This is a new plant that it sent out. We also have, can't see, it's not flowering right now, but this is where the buds would be. It's called a Caldwell Pink Rose. If you come over here, oh, we finally have a butterfly. I'm trying to find the butterfly. <laughs> I rarely see them. And, uh, it's really nice. There we go. So it's actually using the butterfly plant. <laughs> huh, what a treat. I rarely, rarely see that. <laughs> Thought it was uh, a lie that it was a butterfly plant, but there you go. Proof positive that uh, butterflies actually do use the butterfly plant. Pretty neat.
and he's going, uh, I lost them, zoomed in pretty tight, but he's going to another bud. There he is. Or she. So, wow. All right. Pretty neat. Sorry, going as slow as I can. This guy's kind of interesting. It's got a fantastic, uh, non-scientific common name called a possum haw and I forgot how it got that but it's one of the few um, hollies it's a holly you can see it's dark green but it's actually a deciduous holly so it stays green then it loses its leaves um, so one of the neat things it's got a bunch of green berries now um, sometime during the year they'll turn red and what's cool about that is then when it loses its leaves, it's got this striking red color. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a second and we're gonna to go to the herb garden side. Back in a second.